Yeah, and he just needs to make a small adjustment and stay through the middle of the ball. Think about hitting the line driver right back up the middle. Out in front of it, strike one. The 0-1 pitch. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. And that'll get down out there near the wall. Around third and being waved on home. The run scores from second. And he's out he's trying out. for third base, but he'll get credit for two RBIs here. Batter number 10, shortstop, John. Stepping in, Skeeter Rabbit. The as batter. the switch hitter will take first his cuts left-handed here. Rabbit. First offering on its way. Smoke the other way, high and deep to left. Stevenson looks up, and this one is gone. A home run. It's a two-run shot to straight away left as they jump ahead by three. So that just about does it. For EK, Psycho, and the crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, get those smartphones and tablets out and head over to theshownation.com. The West Squad wins this one 10 to 8. So long, everybody. Welcome back to the Major League Baseball First Year Player Draft. The first round is complete, so we will now begin the second round. The first pick is now officially on the clock. With the first pick of the second round, the Philadelphia Phillies select Adam Hamilton, a starting pitcher from the West Region. With the second pick in the second round, the Cincinnati Reds select Graham Priest, a catcher from the West Region. With the third pick of the second round, the Atlanta Braves select Jose Castaneda, a relief pitcher from the West Region. With the fourth pick in the second round, the Oakland Athletics select Garrett Thompson, a starting pitcher from the Central Region. With the fifth pick of the second round, the Milwaukee Brewers select Sergio Alvarado, a starting pitcher from the Central Region. With the sixth pick in the second round, the Colorado Rockies select Rodrigo Castillo, a starting pitcher from the Central Region. With the seventh pick of the second round, the Miami Marlins select Jason Laird, a relief pitcher from the West Region. With the eighth pick in the second round, the San Diego Padres select Lloyd Kaplan, a starting pitcher from the Central Region. With the ninth pick of the second round, the Detroit Tigers select Skeeter Rabbit, a first baseman from the West Region. Okay, so we're making our way through the second round now. The next team is on the clock, but before we get to their pick, guys, what do you think of the most recent selection? Well, I think it's a solid pick. At this point, teams are looking to grab those guys they've had their eye on that maybe fell out.
All right, tonight's Double-A Eastern League action is drawing nearer as we welcome you back to our minor league pregame show with the Bowman Prospect Spotlight. Skeeter Rabbit is our man to watch, making his Double-A debut in this one, so this is probably an exciting day for him. Well, I'm sure it is, but... MLB The Show's coverage of minor league baseball is on the air as we continue our tour around the minor league. Tonight, the first of this four-game weekend set between the Erie Seawolves and the Trenton Thunder. Major League Baseball on the show starts now. And with that, here's a look at the visitors' starting lineup. Stepping in, Skeeter in Rabbit spot, as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Rabbit. Lifted the other way to left center. Heathcott is in pursuit, but he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. And he's not stopping. He wants three. And he will make it into third with a one-out triple. And that right there was his first hit Adding at third. the double-A level. Well, Steve, that's got to be an exciting Taylor. moment for him. Collins. Yeah, with that first knock out of the way, he can now settle in and start working on the next one. Of course, he's aiming for that first major league hit, but he's got to start somewhere. Tyler Collins steps up to the plate with a great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. And you know, you hear it all the time, but scoring first really is a big deal in this game. Statistically, your chance of winning the game goes up. Only play will be the first, as we'll see our first run score here, as this is a 1-0 ball game. Skeeter Rabbit is into the box as we are all set to begin the third. Skeeter Rabbit. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Running hard. He's digging for second. And he's not stopping. He wants three. And he'll get there as he kicks off the third with a leadoff triple. Yeah, getting one again? triple in a Plus game is it. rare enough, Tyler but getting Collins. two is something you might see once a year. But just like the last one, he hits second base here under a full head of steam and makes Tyler Collins will stand in, looking to make this a 2-0 game if he can perhaps get a ball airborne. Yeah, you've got to put the ball in play right here. A ground ball would probably work as well as long as you don't hit it too hard right at a corner guy. Oh, and he misses it. But he will have no play. It's an infield single, and the runner will score from third. Well, I've got to think this is a lack of communication right here. I don't know if he heard an, I got it, or what, but this should be an easy pop-out instead. He doesn't even get leather on it. Coming to the plate again, Skeeter First Rabbit as he'll bat for the second Skeeter time in the inning. Rabbit. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Seared down the first baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Oh, 0-1 count. Here's the pitch. Now a ball hit down the line in the air. This has a chance. And, oh, it's high off the foul pole for a home run. So he promptly unloads the bases with that one as this lead got even wider. Now to the plate, Skeeter First Rabbit. Base, He's already eight. got four RBIs Skeeter, in this one. Rabbit. High fly ball out to straightaway center. 
Heathcott on the move. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. So nothing happening this time around. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. The Seawolves are out on top, 12 to nothing. Skeeter Rabbit will stand in here again, and as he does, it's a good time to flash you back to the third inning of the ballgame as you take a look at his grand slam, obviously a key blow early on. Belted high and deep into right center. Heathcott going back, still going back, but he's not going to get this one. It's into the gap. One run is scored. And not in time as the second run scores. And the run will score all the way from first. And the beat goes on. Another great at bat. And what else is new? They've now thrown 15. Digging in and looking for more. Tyler Collins. Already two for two. He'll look to add on. The pitch on two and one. Runners on his way to third. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Heathcott coasts under it. And that's the second out of the inning. And they've got him hung up out there between second and third. Over now, they'll apply the tag between second and third. It's a careless double play, and the inning is prematurely over. Striding in and working on a terrific performance in this one, Skeeter Rabbit. And we'll see if he can put together a rare five-hit performance here. Lifted the other way out to left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And he's in there safely. He's got a double. Tyler Collins comes forward to bat again. He was the victim of a double play last time around. Now a spin and a throw back to second, Ow. and they got him. Yeah, not a real heady base running move right there. He's got thoughts of going to third, and then he thinks better of it, and by then, he's a dead duck out there trying to make it back to second. Well, the bats were certainly working in this one, but out of everybody, I'd say this man most deserves to be our top's player of the game. And you have to feel good for that guy right there. The games finally count, and he comes out on opening day and turns in a great performance. Now, that's how you want to get your season started. So that just about does it.